boom, the dark matter. This, uh, my friends, is a pretty killer DNA 30 based device. So what is the dark matter? Who makes it? Where can you get it? How does it work? What are the fancy features? Let's run through it all. So uh, first up, the uh, enclosure itself is a Hammond 1590A enclosure. Now it's not your uh, run of the mill, you know, homemade, uh, you know, Hammond box with just some junk thrown in it. It is uh, really, really well done. So the, uh, the charging board spot, uh, the button holes, the screen placement, everything is drilled out and it's done very, very well, very, very clean. Everything is nice and even, nice and straight. The coolest thing about this particular enclosure is that it has been Cerakoted by OCD Mods. Cerakot, what in the world is Cerakote? It is a spray-on uh, kind of ceramic coating. So this stuff is holding up really well to scrapes, scratches, bumps, bruises. I've been using this hard for a couple of months now and I have had nary a scratch on it. So it comes in an array of colors. You do get to customize the color options um, in terms of the actual Cerakoting. There are about uh, eight or nine different colors, I think. Um, I'll throw a picture up while I'm talking here. So you get to pick the color of the actual Cerakoting. Uh, all of these engravings kind of come out this sort of gray color. So there, there is that. Uh, they are different than some of the other ones, but the darker colors, it's gonna kind of end up with this gray um, logo etching. Feels nice and smooth. It's got just a gorgeous finish on it. It uh, is kind of a semi-gloss, and it looks like it might feel gritty, but it is really smooth and just feels perfect in the hands. Then around the sides, it is wrapped in carbon fiber. You do get to also pick the carbon fiber color you would like. Again, there are a whole plethora of options in terms of what carbon fiber color you would want. So you really get to customize the colors on this thing to your liking. There's not a lot of other mods uh, that are running DNA 30s that give you the option to really truly customize that color. Um, let me crack this open. And you notice here that I'm using an Allen key, which does come with the device. And two screws, one in each corner. The other holes are uh, just filled up and filled in. Now, when you buy a dark matter, uh, it will come with the screws by default, but then you will also get a magnet kind of upgrade kit that comes with it. So if you're someone who, uh, maybe this is your only mod or your only DNA mod and you are uh, inclined to want to change batteries, you can do that at will if you go with the magnets. I like the security of those screws, so I just charge it when I need to. I just charge it. Inside the box, we will have obviously an uh, Evolve DNA 30 chip. You'll have an Evolve micro USB charger. You're gonna have a Keystone battery contact here, which has been neatly affixed with a ribbon to help remove the battery. There's not a lot of room in here, uh, not a lot of room. You don't wanna be jamming things in here. You don't wanna jam a screwdriver in, risk some sort of internal short. So the easiest thing to do, uh, because this is recessed a bit, you can see this Keystone contact sits down in here a ways. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to use this ribbon and it just goes under the battery, right? Battery goes on top, fits your battery in, you need to pop the battery out, use the ribbon. So here you can see, um, let me flip it around so you can read it. It is serial, it's kind of just labeled on, um, but what they've also done is made sure that they label your positive and your negative ends. Always put your battery in properly, folks. Now this mod does have fuses to prevent damage from uh, reverse battery installation, right? So if I were to flip this the wrong way, put the positive end uh, down here facing the negative post and try and fire it, fuses should protect the mod. However, that's just a risk you don't need to take. Why take it? It's just so easy, it's labeled for you. You can see this is also numbered, this is dark matter 005. So inside it really is pretty clean. They've done a really nice job and uh, I'm pretty impressed with the build here. This case just feels incredibly rugged. So let me go ahead and slap my battery back in and you'll see the device power up, Evolve DNA. Uh, I'm gonna tuck this kind of out of the way for a second and we're just gonna flip it on before I put it back together. So you have the tactile buttons which are very common on these DNA devices. Uh, lots of different DNA devices, um, whether you're a home modder or you are modding commercially, um, you're, you're prone to use these because they just work really, really well. They've got a really great tactile, nice clicky feel and uh, absolutely rock solid there. Uh, a domed tactile switch. Now you can see uh, it does protrude a little bit, which may bug some people. Uh, however, it just, it's got great clicky switch action. 
So we're pretty set there. Now, um, as I start to put this on here, the only real dislike that I have about this thing is that this enclosure, it's a bit on the chunky side. And what I mean by that, the length is cool. Uh, I can handle the length. It just, it's a bit thick, it's a bit girthy. So if you're uh, a skinny jean wearing person, and you like to throw your mod in your front pocket, this may not be the mod for you. Uh, but I think the answer there is just don't be silly and wear skinny jeans. The uh, 510 connector is a bit different than a lot of people are doing and using those Fat Daddy 510s. Um, though I think they may be switching over to that. So this is the only mod commercially available I have seen that has done this. What this is, is a Chi Yu replacement top cap. So what they've done very wisely is they've made this so that you can adjust the pin height with just a small flathead screwdriver. So you simply pop it in and you can screw it and unscrew it. If you get it in the screw hole, it works a lot better and uh, very easily screws and unscrews. What this allows you to do is adjust for your atomizer height. So if I grab this quasar, right, I can go ahead and uh, throw the quasar on there if I can thread properly. And you can see it looks pretty flush, right? So let's fire this and it's firing. Now, if I switch to something that I know has a much deeper connection or a longer connection the way it's set up, here's a Fogger V4, right? And I go to slap this bad boy on here. Look at that unsightly gap. You can see a nice big gap there. So what I can actually do, and sure I could adjust it on the Fogger side of things, what I can do is I can take my screwdriver, drop it right in the slot there, and I can give this a couple of rotations, screw it all the way down, because I think this fogger contact is really long the way it's set up right now. And there we go, we're firing. And now I've also got that nice flush look. It does add just a tiny bit of height to the device, uh, but overall, very clean look. I just can't get over this finish and how nice it feels and how well this is put together. Uh, they did a fantastic job when these were built over at eSig Crib. So there it is. There's kind of a quick tour of the device. We're not going to get down and dirty and uh, hook up meters and do a lot of testing. That's already been done and I'll put the link to that video. Uh, the, you know, the performance of the Evolve DNA is going to be rock solid assuming the components you're using to assemble the rest of the mod are uh, you know, of high quality and they have certainly done that. Man, this coating, I just can't get over this. Look at this. This has been dropped countless times. It has gone in pockets with keys. It's been uh, abused. It's gone to softball games. And it just, the finish still looks so great. The Sarah coating is really durable, really fantastic stuff. So enough gushing about the coating. Let's go back up top and uh, we'll just talk a little bit. Price points, availability, all that jazz, and we'll send you on your way. So the dark matter is made by the folks over at Esig Crib. There are several brick and mortar locations here in Minnesota, my home state. Uh, this is also available for sale online. When I looked at the website earlier, uh, there were a couple of color options that were available. I believe it was purple and slate green. When you order one of these, if you uh, get one online, then in the comments what you do is you tell them what carbon fiber wrap color you want. There's color samples that are out on the site. There's some really cool color options. There's that uh, lime green, much like my ugly towels, uh, that's got you know kind of the blood splatter, the zombie look. There is a white that looks great with the blue carbon fiber for kind of an R2D2 look. Uh, the only color I'm not terribly keen on is the pink. Now don't get me wrong, the Cerakote looks great. I'm just not a pink guy. So here I have this, uh, this is a 1.1 ohm fogger setup. Uh, so dual coils, 1.1 ohms, and I've got it set to 30 watts. It's hard to argue with this, especially when I drop the price on you, which I am about to do. The dark matter itself, just the mod, right? No battery, no charger, none of that jazz. Just the mod is going to run you $185. So think about that. You get a ceramic coated, color customized DNA 30 device with a removable battery, the built-in charging, the adjustable top cap, all of that for $185. That, my friends, is by far the best price point that I have seen on any mod that really lets you customize multiple features, gives you two enclosure um, connection options, right? So you get the screws and you get the option to go to magnets. So there's multiple ways you can customize this. You're gonna get rock solid DNA 30 performance, 
The coating is super durable, so it holds up very well to use and abuse. This is a fantastic little DNA 30 mod. Now, like I said, the only real complaint I've got, it's a bit on the thick side, right? Doesn't fit great if you're a skinny jean wearing dude. Uh, maybe if you're wearing dress pants, like uh, you know, to the office sometimes, you know, I notice certain dress pants, a little bit of an odd, weird looking thing in my phone, or it looks like a huge phone. Like I got an old Zach Morris Saved by the Bell phone in my pocket. Not a huge deal though, at the end of the day. Still certainly discreet enough that nobody's gonna be questioning what's going on down there. So if you're in Minnesota, swing by your local e-cig crib. There are, I believe, three brick and mortar uh, locations right now in Minnesota. And you can uh, get one of these. What they've been doing thus far is alternating between in-store sales and online sales. Those of you who are not fortunate enough to live in the great tundra that is Minnesota, you can get these online. These are going to be available from a few other locations in the near future as production really starts to ramp up. I've been very, very happy with this. Uh, big, big thanks to my good pal Nick Norman and the folks over at the eSig Crib uh, for hooking me up with this. They even gave me my number, which is totally rad. Uh, I got to pick my colors. I went for the black and silver because I think it's just a classic look. Thought about going murdered out black on black but didn't do that. One other thing to note, uh, one thing that really has impressed me is how well this carbon fiber holds up just from oily hands, drop in dirt, all that stuff. Carbon fiber still looks great. It's not stained, it's not marred, it's not tarnished. Well, it wouldn't get tarnished, it's carbon fiber. Uh, but overall, I'm just, I'm really impressed and I kind of feel like I'm gushing, but you get the rock solid, uh, you know, evolved chipset, evolved charger, keystone battery contact, that's all top of the line. You get the adjustable top cap and it's just, it's a really, really solid device at what I think is a very, very impressive price point from a company that's pretty all right in my book and from a dude, Nick Norman, who's a total bad mamma jamma. So there you go, folks. Head on over to eSigCrib.com. There's a Facebook group as well for the Dark Matter mod. I'll throw all that stuff for you in the description. So feel free to check it out. Again, 185 is going to bring one of these home to be vaped by you. I hope you pick one up. I think you're sincerely going to enjoy it. Until we see each other next time, please take care.